ई क्यू इंटरनेशनल मैगजीन हेयर एट रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी इंडिया एग्जीबिशन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एंड आई एम हेयर विद मिस्टर अमित बर्वे हु इज़ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट एंड मार्केटिंग एट एना पार्क एनर्जी हेलो सर आई प्रसन्न नाइस टू बी आप सो विल बिगन आर इंटरव्यू सर विद अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एना पार्क एंड वॉट एक्टिविटीज इज इट इज इट डूइंग इन द इंडियन सोलर मार्केट Uh, Ena Park, yeah. Uh, Ena Park uh, Energy is a hundred percent subsidiary of Ena Park AG from Germany, headquartered in Hamburg. Uh, we have a presence in the market for last three and half year. Uh, we started our presence in India with EPC projects, actually, uh, with the Marquee project of Delhi International Airport. And by now, we have completed uh, construction of sixty megawatt of various ground-mounted as well as roof-mounted projects. And this year, we are likely to add another twenty twenty-five megawatt uh, to our kitty. What we have done as of now. uh in terms of if you see the list of the customers what we have done we have more focused on to the private customers uh, rather than getting into the government tenders and uh, the projects which have been running successful we have seen that the customers have been coming back to us again and again and we are getting a repetitive orders from these customers uh, based on to the performance of the earlier projects that have been constructed for them so just to give a case of fact uh, delhi international airport limited started with 2.14 megawatt project after running it successfully fully for one year we did another 5.7 megawatt as an expansion phase followed by that we did two projects uh, in hyderabad international airport and this journey continues with multiple customers that uh, we keep doing multiple locations for them yeah that's the that's the usp probably what we see is the repeatability of the customer and the high amount of confidence what the customer places with ena park so you know i mean sir recently we have seen that uh, very aggressive bidding by various developers keeping solar tariffs in the range of 2.5 and 3 rupees for per kilowatt in various solar tenders so what's your view on the viability of uh, project execution and uh, costs and timeline pressures uh, uh, considering this uh, ever 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 decreasing tariffs yeah uh, I, i think so different developers have a different appetite in terms of risk what they can take uh, there are multiple variables like one is an input cost second is the rate of interest uh, and and the returns what the management is looking for uh, so difficult to say whether 265 or 247 or whatever the tariffs which are coming are they really feasible or viable because uh, these variables will keep varying from different developers but for us when we look at as an ena park as an investor or as a developer for us these looks to be very challenging and may not be uh, suitable enough to be so aggressive to get into the project at such tariff levels are concerned yeah your views on the recently uh, filed anti dumping petition how is it going to change the matrix uh, the market matrix for the epc players in specifically in india yeah uh, so this is at least created a short amount of uh, in short term it has created a disruption in the market that uh, things are not moving uh, going to the stalemate because people are not very sure how much duty component will come at what level you will be able to source the module if i book the project right now uh, so there is a phase where there is a still yeah there is nothing moving into the market Uh, which is not good because the market needs to keep rolling out the projects and the things need to move which is really getting under the fees how much it will come god knows uh, we'll see how how the things comes out uh, but in my personal view is uh, putting any uh, artificial means of restricting the trade may not be a great practice when the markets are developing in a phase when the markets are developing uh, it should be more opened up to see that more and more installation happen the market keeps growing the way it should be and that momentum is really maintained the moment you come with certain things which are going to take away the momentum uh, even in short term it's not good for the market development overall in the long term i would say yeah. coming back to ana park any any recent uh, projects any recent noteworthy projects you want to highlight uh, on yeah so uh, we we recently completed uh, 5.5 megawatt for a technique solar a french developer in uttarakhand uh, for which the recent inauguration happened through his excellency the french ambassador uh, very recently uh, currently we are under construction uh, i would say another 5 megawatt project for the hyderabad international airport this is a new one which got as an another repeat order from the hyderabad international airport and currently we are doing close to 2 megawatts of uh, industrial rooftops at various locations in pune and in bangalore yeah, which is also a kind of a staple thing for us that we have a combination of ground mounted projects as well as roof mounted projects going hand in hand but more or less for all the private buyers rather than any government subsidized projects how attractive is the rooftop solar market i mean we are seeing that rooftops is you know uh, picking up really slowly in 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 comparison to when we see it in comparison to utility scale projects so how do you see it 
uh, if you see uh, the indian context how the market is developing uh, is more of a utility and less of a rooftop yeah as as a proportion is a bit discrete uh, visa is if you see all the developed markets worldwide have been more of a rooftop and less of a utility 6 yeah. for the right ratio Uh, I don't know whether it's a right or wrong, but if you see the precedence of all other markets, which are well-developed markets, the the content of the rooftop in the entire mix uh, has been much more dominant. In fact, to an 70 or 80 percent of it actually being coming from rooftop, uh, which is the beauty of solar, which is a distributed degeneration, which is the unique point of solar is concerned. Uh, today in india what we see is the market development going in another way because we also want to scale up the volume of development so utility makes more sense but in long term rooftop needs to pick up in a bigger way uh, what i see as a challenges in rooftop is it's a pure business development activity which has a long gestation time while in utility it is more dominated by the government announced projects which are large scale so even if 10 tenders happen in a year which are almost like a, a gigawatt or a me- uh, 1000 uh, megawatt each suddenly you can see a 10 gigawatt of installations or bidding happening while to reach such sizes in rooftop you really need to have a foot army moving across the country trying to develop it educate the customer because these customers are small they don't know about solar and for them education is the first step and that is where things are lacking right now that customer awareness is least what we also see where we focus is an industrial and commercial rooftop uh, where a lot of uh, misconceptions are there yeah so people are not giving very clear view on how the rooftop solar will work what are the pros what are the cons of a rooftop and there's a blurred knowledge or information with the customer or a half hearted knowledge with the customer which confuses them rather than adopting so the bd activity takes a long gestation time which is the reason which is limiting the spread of rooftops in a big way what it was anticipated early general public acceptability is yet to arrive for for rooftop projects so in terms of exact numbers how many means what, what number of uh, megawatt projects you have uh, executed in india presently and what is the uh, you know pipeline for the next uh, one year yeah so in the in the rooftop business probably we have done close to now 4 and 1/2 megawatt and uh, we have a pipeline which is almost like 2 and 1/2 megawatt which is under execution and i i believe we will keep building on that yeah and what we see as i said earlier is we have more repetitive customer and reference customers actually so somebody builds a project for us uh, uh, we build a project for somebody like we did it in oma in bangalore and they have given multiple references looking towards the performance of the system in within pinia industrial estate and we have been able to get much more more clients within the same industrial estate to see that we get multiple rooftops in the same i also want to have your views on the performance of your projects what have, what has been the customer feedback uh, on on the projects being executed by anna park yeah i i think i think so performance is the key driver what anna park chases all the time in all our projects what we have done uh, whether it makes more uh, less margin for us we, it doesn't matter but performance is something which is a driver for us and that is exactly which is reflecting in the repeatability of the customer today if a customer is happy with the first project that we have done then only he will come back to me and say okay you can do the second project or maybe third project or i will give you a reference for the next project yeah because he is happy he knows that it is somewhere where i can believe and trust on to the brand which is going to deliver and that is exactly what we have seen all our projects from right from the day one what we have done including the delhi international airport all the projects are performing better than than what we have committed to our customer yeah so it is always goes with the i i would say a german attitude that promise less but deliver more yeah that is what exactly what we can see from the customers a bit opposite to india <laughs> maybe yeah but yeah but that is what something which really helps us yeah that we under promise but over deliver rather than doing it other way around actually yeah all right so much that was a really nice opportunity speaking with you here at RAI thank you so much for your time my pleasure prasant thank you so much yeah